Hey, welcome back, everybody. Back here with Nick Bro on the line. We've been discussing in the last couple of calls. Hey, Nick. Hey. We have been discussing the last couple of calls on emotion, the topic of emotional eating. And today we want to get dive into it a little bit deeper. And, just, and Nick's going to share with us some techniques that we can use today that everybody can use and then introduce um, how we can take this a little deeper for people over the next week. So Nick, tell us what's on your mind, how you can help us with this topic more so. Yeah, so in our last couple of calls, I talked about how uh, limiting beliefs subconscious patterns and negative emotions are really what hold us back. So I was thinking that today I could share a couple of techniques that people could use to try to identify what limiting beliefs or what negative emotions they might have going on that are holding them back in their weight loss struggles. That sounds good. So what do you, what do you, what do you got for us? So let's start with limiting beliefs um, because when it comes to weight loss, often it is limiting beliefs that get in the way. And I'm not talking about limiting beliefs that are like at the conscious level, like, oh, I can't lose weight, oh, losing weight is, is hard. Um, I'm talking more about kind of subconscious limiting beliefs or limiting beliefs that aren't quite as obvious. Mm-hmm. For example, one I've seen before is if I lose weight, then my family will treat me differently. Or if I lose weight, I'll get teased. Or if I lose a lot of weight, then I might attract the attention of people that I don't want to attract and feel vulnerable. Okay. Well, those are kind of the limiting beliefs we really want to target. Um, the, the technique I'm going to share works for all limiting beliefs. So like in the sense of mine, when we were working on mine, it wasn't like losing weight, but just the emotional eating in general where it was causing me to uh, be unproductive or um, eat when I didn't really want to be and causing me to feel negative about myself. Correct. You had, you had what was what a subconscious pattern going on, which is emotional eating. Uh-huh. So a subconscious pattern is a lim- little bit different than a limiting belief. Okay. Um, but they both have equal weight when it comes to people and their weight loss struggles. They both affect it and there's two different things going on. Exactly. If, if you've got a hard time with motivation or a hard time um, just getting to the gym or exercising or eating right, then there's a good chance you might have a limiting belief going on. Gotcha. <clears throat> okay. So there's kind of two things. I mean, you have this limiting belief, but that limiting belief has then caused these patterns as well to happen. Is that kind of what you're saying? Exactly. And often you're not even aware of the fact that you have that belief. Yeah. You just, you notice the pattern easier than the belief perhaps, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because for me, it's interesting because that, that, um, stuff you did on for me, reducing that pattern when it came to specifically my task list and the overwhelm, it's definitely helped. And I've, it's given me a better way to handle that and deal with that without feeling the urge to go eat. But it hasn't removed all emotional eating for me when it comes to feeling really down or low or not feeling uh, in, in other scenarios where it's like a much deeper, lower feeling. I, I still have that tendency to go eat. And so I think that there's definitely some limiting beliefs going on there somewhere that I'd like to uncover there as well. So I just wanted to bring that up that it's, it's, this is, we're going to talk like a lot about weight loss because I think that's a very common issue. I think that's what you, um, what you, what a lot of people could really use help with, but it's also applies to all these, um, sub areas around eating and around this specific habit. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when it comes to habits and behavior, um, it's usually one of those three things, which is those patterns, those beliefs or those emotions. Gotcha. Okay, so what's the, what's the next step? You've got you say you've got a couple things for us today that we can yeah, work so, on. So we just talked about beliefs real quick. So the one thing that you want to ask in order to help identify what belief you might have going on holding you back is if I were to accomplish this goal, what's the worst thing that could happen? Okay. So like, well, if your focus is on weight loss, ask yourself, if I were to lose all the weight I want to lose, if I were to meet my goal, What's the worst thing that could happen? Okay. And see what comes up. Interesting. So why would you, why would you ask what's the worst thing that could happen rather than the best? I guess you're, you're seeking for what might be stopping you from doing it then, right? Exactly. That, that'll help bring up whatever your worst case scenario is, and that's your most fearful scenario. What kind of examples do you have of people that you've seen in that, with that? So one example 
like the one I just mentioned was, you know, if I lose, if I lose all my weight, if I, if I regain my ideal weight, then my family will tease me or my family might treat me differently. Right? If okay. you come from a, a family where all your siblings and your parents are all overweight and all of a sudden you lose a bunch of weight, um, you might feel like you're kind of the odd man out. Uh, yeah. Right? And you might not even recognize you're feeling that because you never asked that question. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. So that's, so that's – go ahead. Yes. Yeah, so, so that's the first question that I want um, your viewers to ask themselves, right? That will help them identify if they have any beliefs holding them back. Yep. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is negative emotions. Okay. So often um, we have kind of a dominant negative emotion that might hold us back as well. And the way to identify what kind of your dominant negative emotion might be uh-huh. is look at what patterns you've had going on pretty much over your whole life, even down through childhood, because it's in childhood that these dominant negative emotions can really get established yeah. and kind of stick. Yep. So, for example, recently there was somebody who, well, it was just before Christmas or maybe November, and I was talking to somebody who had issues with powerlessness. Okay. He felt powerless. So I said, okay. And I think it was he was having a hard time getting out of bed, and I said, well, what – it was motivation issues. And I said, well, what's the most negative feeling you have going on? And he said, it was, I feel powerless. I don't have much money. I can't do what I want. I really feel powerless. So I said, okay, well, now think of your last significant relationship. I said, what was the worst thing you had going on in that relationship, or the worst thing about it? And he said it was communication. And I said, well, communication in what way? He said, I never got to have the – to do what I want. She always had the last word. Um, she made all the decisions. So he said it, it was definitely communication. Uh-huh. I said, okay, well, I said, how did all those situations make you feel? And he said, well, it makes me feel, made me feel powerless. And I thought, hmm, that's interesting. And I said, go back to the previous relationship before that. And I said, was powerlessness an issue in that relationship too? And he thought about it and he said, yeah, definitely. And I said, go back, all the way back to childhood. I said, as a child, did you feel powerless in any way? And he said, yeah, I did. He said, I was the youngest of my siblings, and I always had to follow my older siblings around. They always made the decisions, and I never got to pick what game we were going to play, what we were going to do. It was always up to them. Huh. This powerlessness, you can see, kind of manifested itself over and over and over again throughout his life. Yeah. Then at, at that point, we did a little bit of EFT. We did some clearing work to tap that negative feeling away. Uh-huh. Um, and since then, it, it hasn't returned. So nice. he, now he's dealing with something else, which is frustration. But that's often how those negative emotions sit in our bodies. So it's kind of like an onion layer. Yeah. So sometimes it'll peel away one layer, and then a new layer comes up. Huh. The good news is, is the more layers you peel away, the closer you get back to that natural state of joy and happiness and abundance. Nice. That reminded me when you said that of the, of the um, uh, thing you're doing tomorrow night. Why don't you talk about that? Because getting back, that's the subject of your webinar tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, or Wednesday night. Oh, Wednesday so, night. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, We're recording yeah, so, this Monday. I'm going to publish this tomorrow. So <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. So Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Eastern time, I'm doing a free webinar. And it's all about helping people getting into flow and it's about it's mainly about how joy and abundance is our natural state Uh and what it is you need to do to kind of return to that natural state nice so if your viewers want some information on that they can go to my website and the link to that event is the breakthrough specialist.com slash flow F-L-O-W. Awesome. We'll, I'll put a link to that below this video on the website at trulyamazingwife.com as well. So just uh, but the breakthroughspecialist.com slash flow. If you're listening to this, you can go on there, register for the webinar. It's going to be pretty cool. Nick's doing a free webinar discussing the principles of how to return to your state, your natural state of abundance and joy. It's awesome. Yeah. And that's, on, that's this Wednesday, the February the 12th. February 12th. 2014. If you're listening to this in 2015, you missed the boat, but hey, <laughs> there'll probably be other cool things then. So to February 12th, 2014, 6 p.m. Eastern, but get on before and register for it. Uh, that'd be cool. So continuing on. So there's these two questions you're talking about. We talked about beliefs and then what was the question to be asking surrounding the negative emotions? 
So for negative emotions, it's not so much a question. Uh huh. It's about, you know, how does a certain situation make you feel? So when you think about your weight loss struggle, maybe, what's the one word that comes up? Is it powerlessness? Is it sadness? Is it frustration? Figure out what emotion is the dominant emotion. Uh-huh. And look at your past experiences. Look at the events in your life, especially traumatic events, significant events, past relationships, and see if that, that emotion or that feeling is one that keeps coming up over and over and over again. Um, especially if you can trace it all the way back to childhood. If you can, that means that you have kind of this dominant negative emotion going on and that you want to look into having that cleared. Got it. Awesome. So how can we help people? Next week we're going to do some videos specifically um, helping people work through some of these uh, questions and emotions that they, that come up like powerlessness or whatever it is related to this. Tell us, um, tell us what we're going to do on that, what we can do to help people specifically. Yeah, so let's get your viewers to ask the question, you know, if I meet this goal, you know, what's the worst thing that could happen? Yep. Or let's have them look into what negative, dom- dominant negative emotions they might have going on. Okay. Maybe they can send that information to you. Yep. And pick maybe the top, what, three or four. Okay. Um, and maybe we can do some videos next week to help people clear those things. Uh, maybe we can use EFT. That, yeah. That be fun. Yeah. So you would... So somebody tells us what they're dealing with, what emotions they're dealing with, and specifically what, give us the example of what you would feel if you actually hit your goal, and that'll allow you to work through that specific issue through video to be able to help that person or anybody going through somebody something similar. We'll pick the top three or four um, and do maybe a, a short video on each, uh, release them periodically next week, throughout the week. So yeah, let's do that. So everybody uh, listening to this, we're publishing this on Tuesday. Go ahead and respond. Um, get your questions in by Friday or th- Thursday or Friday at the latest so that we can, yeah, Friday at the latest. And then next week, Nick and I will record some. Actually, I take that back. Get them back in on Thursday because we're yeah. going to we're gonna need. Let's record them on Friday and then we can let, let your yeah. viewers have them early next All right, so you got two days, everybody. If you're listening to this and you want to participate, you want specific help, send me an email with your specific question, answer to the question, which is, if I were to accomplish this goal, whatever your goal is, and if it's specifically related around weight loss or emotional eating, um, that would be ideal from the topic standpoint that we're working on. But if you have other ones, shoot them over. And if we, if we're going to pick the top three or four uh, to work through on this. And again, the question is, is if I were to accomplish this goal, what's the worst thing that could happen? And then the second thing is, uh, analyze the experience that you're dealing with and, Ask yourself, how does this situation make me feel? And then analyze, look at that feeling. Ask yourself if that's, if you go back in your past, if you felt that feeling before in different circumstances many times, and you'll notice if that's the important one. So tell us how it makes you feel. Answer that question. What's the worst that could happen if you accomplish this goal? Send it in an email to me, Aaron at trulyamazinglife.com, and, or get on the blog post here and you can post it in the comments we're going to again take the top three or four next week and and share those with you in video so anything else nick awesome no that's great it's gonna be fun yeah look forward to seeing how we can help you guys make some breakthroughs here and until then we'll talk to you uh soon get them get your responses in by thursday february 13th before valentine's day and we'll be all set so all right thanks 